Hello, Jonathan Schleck, EA Echen Weather here. We now have an enhanced risk for far northeastern Colorado, southwestern Nebraska, and the extreme, very far, northwestern part of Kansas. Let me zero in on that. Right here, again, it's northeastern Colorado, southwestern Nebraska, and the very far, extreme, northwestern part of Kansas. So... There is now an enhanced risk of severe storms for those areas, and there is enhanced, or excuse me, there is a slight risk that goes from eastern Colorado up to south central Minnesota, and there is also a slight for south eastern Wisconsin, north eastern Illinois, and far northwestern Indiana. That's where the slight is in place, so. So, so it says here. Severe thunderstorms are expected across parts of Central Plains this evening into the overnight hours. Other severe storms are possible from the middle Mississippi Valley to lower Michigan through early evening. So, right, so the main threat is going to be the damaging winds and the large hail, but can't rely on some tornadoes. So, right, so right here, there's, there's a 30% wind risk for southwestern Nebraska, and very far, extreme, northwestern part of Kansas. That's where there's a 30% wind risk, and there's a 30% hail risk. Pretty much for the same areas, but northeastern Colorado is involved in the 30% hail risk. So, and there is actually a tornado threat today for northeastern, for, I mean, pretty much a lot of these areas, there is a large area of two percent of a two percent tornado risk, but there is a five percent tornado risk for northeastern Colorado, northwestern Kansas, and southwestern Nebraska. So, and so, the so areas across the plains from Colorado up through western Iowa and south central Minnesota, the threat mainly coming from. Late afternoon through the evening and part of the overnight. And other areas I think are around a slight risk are going to be this afternoon in southeast Wisconsin, northeastern Colorado, northeastern Illinois, excuse me, and northwestern Indiana, far northwestern Indiana. But again, areas from eastern Colorado up through southern Minnesota are going to be from. <clears throat> Late this afternoon through the evening and part of the overnight in those areas. So, and again, the enhanced risk is where I expect the most severe weather to occur. But even the slight is expecting some severe storms too, and even the marginal for that matter, just not as much as just not as much in the marginal as the slight and enhanced. So, and I'm going to go to the day two outlook, and there's an enhanced risk that encompasses southeast. Extreme, very far southeastern Nebraska, very far northeastern part of Kansas, uh, northern Missouri, most of Iowa, southeast Minnesota, southwestern Wisconsin, and northwestern Illinois. There's enhanced risk tomorrow, and that's where we have a bigger tornado threat. You can see there's a 10% tornado risk across eastern Iowa, north central Missouri, southwestern Wisconsin and Northwestern Illinois. So, that's where I expect the most tornado activity and potentially some strong tornadoes at that. And there is also a 30% wind risk for southeastern Minnesota, southwest Wisconsin, Northwest Illinois, most of Iowa, extreme south, the very far extreme southeastern Nebraska, northern Missouri, and very far northeastern Kansas where we have a 30% wind risk, and there is a 30% hail risk for far southwestern Wisconsin, very far northeastern Kansas, north, northwestern Missouri, northwest Illinois, and southeastern Iowa. Yeah, so for tomorrow, there will be a broad area of severe thunderstorm potential from the southern plains to the upper Great Lakes. The highest concentration of severe storms is expected from eastern Kansas to southwest Wisconsin, and there could be tornadoes, some that are strong, damaging wind gusts, and large hail. 
Chiao. And Chiao Toro looks to be a bigger severe threat, and there is a slight, a slight risk from North Central Texas up through, up to, uh, up to Northwestern Ohio and extreme Southeastern Michigan. So, so, stay weather aware and hopefully I can capture alert. So, this is Jonathan Schleck, EAS and weather. See you later.